So welcome back to the channel everybody, it's Heads here once again, bringing you guys informative content daily and also helping you guys improve your gaming. So today is going to be an improvement video. A lot of people have been asking me to do one of these videos for a long time and I feel as though I'm not really helping you guys improve at all. Hey, hey people, welcome back to the show! Alright, the next step in opening your pool is... Taking the cover off! Yeah! Well, there's some of your comedy relief for today. So today, I finally want to go over all the barrels, all the attachments, you know, the barrel attachments for your weapons. Every single one of them. I'm not kidding. I'm going to go through every single operator in depth, give you guys and voice my opinion. So right now, this is my second account. I usually use this one all the time for my stuff because I'm buying all the, uh, you know, different skins on this account um, for my PC. Right now, I'm currently plat 2 on PC ranked when I solo queue. And on Xbox, I don't play ranked as much anymore. I used to be diamond all the time. Um, I'm not going to go too much into my background because I feel like I just don't want to state my, you know, thoughts too much on it because I feel like it's just too controversial. I don't want to go too, but you guys can take with the grain of salt. I am a really decent player at this game. I've been playing it since the release and, uh, I used to be a little bit pro when it came to Xbox back in the day when the first, uh, season were coming out. Um, but as far as PC, I've never stepped into pro at all, uh, the pro league. I've never tried because I recently started playing it a, f a few months ago, and uh, I even made a second account, as you guys can see here. But anyway, we're going to be going over all the barrels in depth, and I'm going to be giving you guys my opinions on every single operator. And so, let's get right into it. Okay, so first we have Sledge. What kind of barrel do you want on these weapons? So typically, when we look into the barrels, let's let's dive into the barrels themselves. We're going to look at every single barrel here. Um, I don't believe this is all of them because we have extended barrels. Um, you guys know that as well. So we have a suppressor, which this will basically dampen the weapon sound, uh, but at a cost of the weapon damage being, uh, I would say, pretty greatly reduced uh, by about 10 almost, which is pretty significant um if i have to say about eight damage will be reduced that is pretty heavy when it comes to rainbow six so what is so good about the suppressor what could be used with the suppressor and personally i would stay away from the suppressor altogether there's no reason to use it because people will find your location all this will help you do is when you're getting shot at, you guys can see like a little circle with a little arrow uh, appearing um, on different sides of your screen, which indicates where the bullet came from, correct? Um, so the suppressor will basically make that go away, um, which is nice. However, it's just going to really impact you. You want to be doing as much damage as possible. So what my opinion is on this one, stay away from it. Don't use it at all. As far as Flash Hider, this is for the players, and this is how I see it perfectly, okay? I'm going to give you a lowdown. You guys can end the video here. If you guys don't want to look over all the operators with me, I'm going to be going over them very quickly after I look at these. But this is how I look at it. You got Muzzle Break, you got Compensator, and you got Flash Hider. These are the three main core barrels in the game. Each of these resemble a specific playstyle. Okay? And it also is for certain accuracy. You first have Muzzle Break, which is used for players who usually like to one-tap and are usually very accurate at the game who have been playing it probably since day one um, and usually on PC this is a good idea now for people who use flash hider or more of the people in the middle like they're semi good at aiming um, but they usually burst as well um, if you're someone who likes to burst and you only three round burst I'm not kidding if you three round burst two burst like that then this is probably the best barrel for you. 
If you're someone who isn't that great at aiming at all, Compensator can be one of the best. If you're someone who holds down the trigger a lot, this is obviously going to be the best choice. However, there is a little bit of a distinction between Compensator being really good on high firing weapons, and that's what we have to go into next. Someone like Ella is going to be amazing with a Compensator because the weapon shoots so fast. Um, however, sometimes even with the fast shooting weapons, I use Mira, correct? I actually use a muzzle brake with her, and sometimes a flash hider, believe it or not. I use that on Mira. So that is very, very, pretty crazy for someone for me to say, but it's because of the mag size. Ella, on the other hand, I usually spray and pray, so I use a compensator uh, to work with that. Okay, so now that you guys kind of understand, extended barrel will make the damage, you know, do more damage at a longer range. That's all it does. Um, pretty simple. And usually Frost is the only good operator to use it on. There's also Grips, but we'll go over that at some other point. So, what I usually use on Sledge's weapon, uh, we're going to use a Muzzle Break. That's personally what I use. Because I feel like I one-tap, and I'm usually really accurate, especially on PC. Take that into consideration, this is all my PC stuff. Uh, next we have the SMG-11, which I'm going to just go over this one because I use a compensator because it has a huge fire rate. So that is Sledge. Uh, we have Thatcher, and I don't usually use this. Now, <laughs> you got to understand, I don't even use Thatcher on this account because this is my second account, but I would just use the same stuff. AR, I would use a muzzle brake. That's what I would use. Uh, Ash, I sometimes use the compensator, but I use a muzzle brake. Uh, the G3, I would also use a muzzle brake. And really, I don't need to go through every single one of these with you guys because it's pretty explanatory. I use even muzzle brake with Twitch. I use muzzle brake on marksman rifles. That is something you always want to do. I use muzzle brake on Buck. I use it on pretty much every operator, every pistol, every everything. <laughs> Okay, um, especially with Dokipi, that's a great idea to use a muzzle brake. So I use muzzle brake on everything except for um, Frost, obviously, because she doesn't have one. I use muzzle brake on Mira, or I use a flash hider. I usually use flash hider with Mira, and sometimes I use Vigil with a flash hider as well. Not to be, I'm not kidding. Or a muzzle brake, and then usually I use for a her a um, compensator. So overall, that is really the lowdown. Okay, that's it. That is the barrels in the game, and that's what you really want to be using in the game. Um, I do know some weapons. I don't think these have compensators um, for the MP5. So some weapons don't have compensators, so you might have to use a flash hider. So, like I said, muzzle brake is for the players that are very accurate and usually are on point on their first shots. And if you're a person who likes to one-tap, that's probably what you want to do. And every marksman rifle is uh, going to be used for that reason. Flash hider is for the people who three burst, four burst, or even two burst all the time. And they consistently do it. And they might not be the best at aiming on the first shots. Compensator is for the people who are very bad at aiming, usually who just are potato. <laughs> um, and it, it, it would help them um, overall if you hold down the trigger. It's not going to help people who are very accurate though. Um, unless if you're using a very high firing weapon like Ella or someone with a huge fire rate, then yes, compensator is good because you're shooting more bullets out of the mag. You're not usually able to tap fire because multiple bullets come out. But you could use a flash hider on someone like Ella because of the fact that if you're shooting, even if you're tapping, you're going to shoot probably three bullets anyway. So if you're someone who likes to do that, then flash hider might be for you. So anyway, guys, that is the whole video about the barrels. Once again, extended and suppressor, they're not usually the best because they're not going to enhance your aim. They're just going to hurt you uh, more than anything else. So don't recommend them at all. Um, and that is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you like if it helped you. 
Uh, make sure that you also subscribe with notifications on if you guys are new to the channel. And I'm always helping you guys improve and giving you guys constant information. So I would greatly appreciate you guys um, if you do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out. And uh, I will be going over the angled grip and main grip in specific detail and different types of operators in the later video. There will be more videos here out very soon. One about Zofia um, and all of that such. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Heads out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see some cool videos, they will be in the left and the right of the screen. And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, make sure that you press my face in the middle of the screen, guys. I will see you in the next one.